it's Mo. Uh, I just got home from work and I've been kind of accumulating some empties as people call them and I never know if that's interesting or not. Like do you want to know things that I've used up? I don't know. I'm not the hugest fan of empties videos but you know I've got this stuff sitting here and I'm like well let's just see how it goes. I might not even post this. I don't know. But I thought I'd tell you some of the things. Most of this is going to be like skincare, hair care, that kind of stuff because I'm not like going through makeup rapidly but let's just uh let's just do this thing and see what we got this is in no particular order um from target my soothe and soften up and up uh shower gel i always use this one it's the shea butter and oatmeal body wash because it's relatively inexpensive and it feels nice it smells nice it doesn't have an overpowering scent um kind of vanilla -y. Um, but I just, that, I've been buying that for, I don't know, a couple of years and I just, when it's empty, I buy a new one. I think it's in the, I'm going to say the three to four dollar range to buy that whole bottle. So that works really well for me. Um, I actually have two of these in my empties and keep in mind, I've been kind of just putting things in my empties for a while. So this isn't like a month's worth. It's certainly more than that, but this is from Curlsmith. And this is the Curl Defining Styling Souffle. My hair is relatively fine and it gets kind of flat on top and then more of the curl here. So it's always been, it's never been just like awesome super curls, but it's not straight ever. I mean, the only time my hair is straight is if it's straightened. Even when, I'm, right when I get out of the shower, there's some wave to it. So styling it has always been I don't know if a challenge is the right word, but when I grew up, other kids didn't have hair like mine. Mine was just kind of a fuzzball at that time. Um, so over the years, I've tried to find things that work. And um, I really do like this Curl Defining Styling Souffle. Um, it's a clear, kind of a thick gel, and then you rub it between your hands. And, you know, I do the thing where I kind of towel scrunch my hair and then scrunch the product in like that. Um, I always air dry my hair. And it, it works really well because it's not crunchy, but it does hold the curl, the wave, the whatever, um, pretty well. And I like the smell of it. Uh, so that that's kind of my go-to. In fact, I think I have, yeah, I have two of those in here because I, I this is all I use for styling. So I don't put anything else in my hair. I wash it. I condition it. I um, kind of put it up in one of those little turby twist thingies for about 15 minutes maybe. And then I kind of scratch it dry with like a t-shirt kind of towel and then put that stuff in. That's all I do. This was, this is like second or third day hair and I slept on it so it's not. And I don't do anything with it like second or third day. I'm just like, wake up and go. I'm not a big hair person, which you've probably figured out by now. Um, this, I really like. This is from Drunk Elephant. This is the Proteiny Polypeptide. I use this at night. Um, it's expensive. It's really expensive. It's like $68. So I think this was the first one I bought and I have purchased a second one. I don't know um, once the weather gets warmer if I will continue using this. I use it at night. Um, I really do like it but it is really expensive and I have not uh, successfully found a dupe. I also thought you might be interested. It has one of those cool like you know you push this and then the stuff kind of comes out of it. And I took it apart because I've been that way since I was a little kid. I like to take things apart. And I just thought it was interesting, like, how many things. Like, so there's the thing that, like, pushes it up. And then there's, like, a little, you can see. I mean, every drop pretty much comes out of that thing. I will give it credit for that. But it's like this goes in this, goes in this, goes in this. And that screws on. And then there's a lid. So there's a lot of packaging involved with this. I should be mad at it for that, but I'm not. I'm just being honest. Um, another moisturizer, and I've used this for years, is the CeraVe PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion. As I said, PM, so there's no sunscreen in this. Um, but I actually use this in the mornings when I'm getting uh, ready in the morning. Um, so I'll often put on a vitamin C serum. Uh, Usually that, and then I go to my kind of trusty Paula's Choice Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense. I use this every single day. It's SPF um, 30. So this is a mineral sunscreen, and it's just zinc oxide. And it works really well. It's slightly tinted. You can probably see that. Can you see that there? Yeah, you can see the tint. And I've mentioned this before, that it's not like 
tinted to seem like a foundation. It's mainly to remove the white cast that you get from like a, a zinc oxide or titanium dioxide, especially zinc oxide. Um, so it's really tinted to kind of counteract the whiteness, like the actual um, mineral looks like. I don't get any actual color from it, but it works really nicely under makeup and it gives, it's not exactly a matte finish, maybe a satin finish to the skin. And often I don't wear primer, often I just put on the moisturizer, as I mentioned, and then this, and then I just go in with foundation and go from there. My favorite makeup remover for well over a year. I finally, finally tried the Bioderma um, Sensibo H2O Micellar Water. So this was, I think most people would argue and agree that this was the original micellar water that people talked about. And when I started hearing about it, it was kind of difficult to find. Like there wasn't a great place to order it from. And so then I just never tried it. And I tried some of the cheaper ones but they didn't really do much for me. But when I finally ordered this from uh, Beautylish is where I get it, um, this is all I use. It gets everything off, just use cotton pad, take it off, and then I just wash my face in the shower. I know, pretty awesome routine, right? So another hair thing, as I said, these were kind of out of order, but this is the Diva Curl Melt Into Moisture Matcha Butter Conditioning Mask. I only use this once a week on my hair and I just in the shower I'll just put it on for like five minutes and then rinse it out. I don't do anything too heavy usually on my hair because it really most conditioners will weigh it down. This does not. It seems to moisturize nicely without weighing it down. Um, and then I have used up, I've talked about this in a previous video, but the Pharmacy Honey Butter Lip Balm. I really like this. I like lip balm in general. I've got lip balm everywhere. It's near my bed, it's in my purse, it's at work, not this kind. But I'm always trying different lip balms and this one really is pretty darn good. And it's, I think it's $10. I've bought it at Sephora and I've bought it at Sephora when it's 20% off, like if there's a, a sale or something. So it's like $8. But I really, you know, I go through an entire tube. Like lip balm, I use up 100%, so I'll, that's okay with me. Um, another Sephora product is the Hourglass uh, Veil Mineral Primer. I've never bought a full size of this. Um, as I said, I often don't use primer, so I bought like the travel size or trial size, and this lasted me quite a while. And I like this primer quite a bit, but I don't know that it's irreplaceable, and it I haven't used it lately. I did buy another one of those, but I haven't used it recently. I've actually been using some other stuff. Uh, I have a mascara in here. It's the CoverGirl Exhibitionist. I did not completely use up this mascara, but it did reach, you know, the, the three to four month mark, and I used it pretty regularly. So at that point, I'm pretty cautious about my eyes. So um, especially with mascara, it's like three to three. I'm pretty good about the three month rule. Like, you know what? Just get rid of it and get a new one because it's worth it for eye safety because they can, you know, harbor bacteria and all those delightful things. Um, Another eye product uh, was the CoverGirl. This was their eye primer. It is their eye primer, the Lid Lockup. I used this entire thing. Um, it was fine. I'm never gonna buy it again because it did not outperform my tried and true. My favorite is the Milani eyeshadow primer. I don't know how many of these I've gone through over the years, but it's just the one I always go to. Um, it works for me. It keeps my eyeshadow on. It's not terribly expensive, although, as I've mentioned before, drugstore prices are going up. Even the price of that, you know, isn't like, oh, this is such a steal. Um, but it's, it's certainly better than the cost of a lot of primers. Um, so that's kind of it. That's my empties. Um, and it's not like wildly exciting, right? I don't know. I don't know if that's interesting or not. Um, because a lot of people don't have hair like me and um, you know there wasn't a lot of makeup in there and I'm a makeup nerd I like to see the makeup stuff so anyway those are my empties just in case that interests you let me know if that's something that you're like oh yeah empties those are awesome or if you're like yeah empties I don't care I'm good either way in whatever way I hope that was helpful because that's my only purpose here and I just really love it that you hang out um, and talk makeup because I just I, I love this stuff I've loved it since I was a kid and it's never waned. I've never stopped loving it. Um, and I've always just been kind of into it and uh, it's fun to talk to you and um, 
you know, get comments from people who are like, yeah, I tried that or I didn't like that or I did. And I'm all good if you don't like something I do or if you do like something I don't. I think that's fantastic, right? Because we're all different in so many ways. Um, and I totally encourage that, you know? If something works for you that didn't work for me, great, tell me. I would love to know, like, what do you like about it? Why is that great? Because I just, I love talking about this stuff. Absolutely adore it. I hope you are having a good day. And I'll talk to you soon.